हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माई सेल्फ दीपिका प्रजापति फ्रॉम कंप्यूटर डिपार्टमेंट एंड वेलकम टू ऑल ऑफ यू इन अवर टू डेज वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज डियर ऑल स्टूडेंट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन ऑफ द चैप्टर नंबर फोर एंड दिस ऑल क्वेश्चन अगेन एंड अगेन आस्ड इन अवर जी टी एग्जाम सो हियर वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन ऑफ द चैप्टर नंबर फोर नेटवर्क कॉन्फिग्रेशन सो वीच आर द क्वेश्चन इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन ऑफ अवर जी टी यूनिवर्सिटी एग्जाम सो लेट स्टार्ट हियर द सिलेबस ओवर व्यू ऑफ अवर नेटवर्क कॉन्फिग्रेशन चैप्टर नंबर फोर इज वर्किंग विथ यूजर अकाउंट एडिंग यूजर मॉडिफाइंग यूजर अकाउंट डिलीटिंग और डिसेबलिंग यूजर अकाउंट वर्किंग विथ विंडो सिक्योरिटी ग्रुप क्रिएटिंग ग्रुप मेंटेनिंग ग्रुप मेंबरशिप वर्किंग विथ शेयर्स अंडरस्टैंडिंग शेयर सिक्योरिटी क्रिएटिंग शेयर्स मैपिंग ब्राइव्स एडमिनिस्ट्रिंग प्रिंटर शेयर एंड वर्किंग विथ विंडोज बैकअप so here this one is nothing but a syllabus overview of network configuration so now here uh, first of all working with user account and this one is a very most important question of the g2 exam and how this question asked in g2 exam so uh, in a g2 exam this question is asked as explain working with user account having three marks so whenever this type of question asked in g2 exam then you all have to write the answer of working with user account here so first of all you have to write for the working with user account is the account define the username and password along with a host of other information specific to each user second point creating and maintaining and deleting user accounts is very easy in windows server like 2000 2003 2008 and 2012 maintain user account you use the active directory users and computer management console so you can open this console by clicking the start menu control panel administrative tools and click on active directory users and computer management console so whenever you can open console by clicking start menu then you have to go control panel then select administrative tools and then click on the active directory users and computer management console next how to add user so this uh, question is also very most important for the g2 exam and uh, this question asked in g2 exam is uh, explain adding user steps so here the first start by selecting the user container in the left pane with the tree open to domain you are administering right click in the user container choose from pop up menu and then choose user from the sub menu you see the create new object dialog box shown in a figure a so here one is our figure first of all how to add user you have to go open server manager from taskbar so first of all you have to go taskbar and then you select open server manager from taskbar then go to tools and select active directory users and computer so here one is the tools you have to select tools and go to active directory users and computer next then second step is create an organizational unit so here one is you have to create a organizational unit from here must geek new and then organizational unit so this pop up box is nothing but our active directory users and computer and that is provided by active directory users and computer from tools menu okay next then you have to type management to name the ou check the protect container from the accidental deletion option and this option will protect this object from accidental deletion so here you have to give the name so here i have to give name as a management then click on the check check box protect container from accidental deletion and then click okay button next create a new user right click the management ou and then click new and click the user so here one you have to click management then new and then click on user next now 
type the user information type the first name and last main here user login name is the name that the user will use to actually log in the computer in the network so when user tries to log in he or she will type here one is this type of our username or here one is nothing but one type of otherwise the one kind of username field now click then next button so here we have to give in the first name last name full name uh, login name as well as the username and then here give the username then login of our windows 2000 and then click on the next button now type the password check user must change password it means confirm password and then next log on the user will be forced to change the password when user logs in the click next so here one is give the password with confirm password then you have to click on check box user must change password at next log on okay then you have to click next button and now number 6 step is says in this window type the password used to log in to the computer in password and confirm password field in additional to that there are certain option that you can select as per your requirement and must change password at next log on this option will force to change the password when they first log on okay so can't change password whenever user will not be able to change the password and will be forced to use the password set by administrator and the password never expire because the password would not expire and will not force to change the password so account is disabled so account will be created by it will be disabled i e user will not be able to log in until the account is enabled okay next the step number 7 review the user configuration and click finish button so here one is our new object is created with our user account so when you click finish the following object will be created step number 8 you have successfully created a user account you can open the properties of the user account setting then you have to show this type of pop up box for creating user account so this all step for the creating otherwise add new user account in server 2012 domain controller now next topic is modifying user account so here you can see a dialog box for creating user account creating user account are much simpler than one you see when modifying user account so the dialog box in which you modify the information about user contain many other fields that you can use to document the account and to set some other security option so to modify an exciting user account right click the user object you wish to modify and choose properties from the pop up menu and you then see the tab dialog box so in this type of figure so here one is nothing but our server management uh, administrative tools so open server manager from taskbar then go to tools select active directory users and computer then next in the console we will see the organizational unit and select user it will show all the default users and groups that are created by default so here one is click on the user so it will be show all the default user and groups that are created by default okay then next right click on username whose detail we want to modify and select properties properties of the selected user will be open and now you can modify users general detail like its first name last name initials description email web pages telephone number etc from general tab and now now click apply and okay so this one steps for the modifying user account in server 2012 domain controller okay next deleting or disable user account so which step follow for the deleting or disable user account so first of all click uh, in start menu control panel administrative tools then click on active directory users and group management console then use the left pen to select user folders select the user in the right pen and right click on user choose delete or option 
for the open active pull down menu and choose delete so follow the steps 1 2 3 from create a user in windows server section same like creating user so first of all you have to go uh, uh, server manager from taskbar then you have to click on administrative tools so follow the step 1 2 3 from the create user in windows server section then select the user that you want to delete right click the object and select delete so these all steps for the deleting user account with a figure so first of all you have to click server manager of the administrative tools and go to active directory users and computer then you have to cre create here one uh, user give the right click and delete the option for the user so a pop-up window will open as the confirmation to delete the account and click on yes if you want to process this with user account deletion so follow steps 1 2 3 for the create user in windows server section select a user that you want to delete and right click the object and select disable account then step number three says right click on user which you want to disable click disable account a pop-up window will open as the confirmation disable account and then click on yes and then disable user can be confirmed by looking into active directory user and computers window denoted by down arrow okay so this one is our disabling user account steps with figure so here one is same like a delete user account this all step similarly uh, for the disabling user account so here one is the click on the right click and then disable account so now next topic is working with windows security group and this topic is also very most important for the g2 exam but this topic cover in our next lecture so i hope dear all student you all easily understand for this uh, all topic for the g2 exam okay thank you all of you